everyone welcome back to my channel my name is tony so it's a lovely day outside and i have decided to do another video and this is all about my propagations or my infant plants so let's start off with my most successful propagation this is my alocasia poly i've taken out some corms from the mother plant and planted around eight corms in there but only two had lived which is um, still a success story if i may say so and this one is a tanike leaf that had fallen off from that tree small one and let's just wait if it will live or not in water and this is another propagation um, of a philodendron mycan so it's really doing well i've got a lot of new leaf um, or leaves in there underwater and um this had turned a bit bushy um because a lot of leaves had also grown up there so um i can't wait to sell this or repot this and now um this moving on to this snake plant this had given birth to some baby snake plants and um they're still growing so i'm not doing anything much for these babies but um let's move on to my fiddly fig i've asked for some leaves from my friend this is for um the first batch i really need to repot that i have a dead leaf up there and this one had or has just started sprouting you can't see but there are some roots growing inside and these are from the second batch two leaves of a fiddly fig and yep it's rooting really well now this side here is my propagation station it's one of my most favorite corners in my house because this is like my science project corner so let me show off my crinkle 8 propagation this had rooted out so well and um, i'm not sure yet when i should repot this and this one i have a peperomia caparata growing out there and some peperomia hope i'm just waiting for it to root out i mean the peperomia hope and then uh, let's ignore this one in the middle because those are just dead branches from my begonia maculata that had died it had turned brown but i had clipped off the branches and just placed it in water and let's see if a miracle happens or not and this one here is another propagation of my hoya crinkle 8 um, i actually saved this from the main um, plant that had uh, mealy bugs so it had rooted well so i need to repot that and on the second level of my propagation station is um, this hoya bella propagation it was really easy to do this it's been barely a month and it's rooting out so well this one is also for um, or a peperomia hope it's showing some progress but it's slow but i'm happy and then another hoya here it's a linearis so easy to propagate as well and um, this is my second propagation so this is my linearis my main plant so it grows so fast so i just trim off um, the bottoms uh, from this main plant and then propagate it and my bella had turned um, sickly if i may say so a lot of our branches had turned yellow i cut them off and i'm just experimenting if they would live or not uh, i mean the cuttings and right here are um some fallen leaf from my watermelon peperomia and my pelea peperimoides um this has been a slow grower but the watermelon had grown out a lot of roots already so maybe i can repot this but the pelea i think i may have to leave it some more in water for a couple of weeks and here's another propagation of my linearis my first one 
I'm planning of selling this out as well for a cheaper price of course or give it to some people and this is my wandering wandering Jew tricolor Trandiscantia and I really am so happy with this it was just some short cuttings but it had grown tall and the rooting system is um, doing really well I've got a fallen leaf from a peperomia hope there and then this one is also one of my successful propagations though I have killed the mother plant already I really don't know how to take care of it it was a peperomia caparata lilian and so it was good that I had um, cut out a few um, leaves from there and then propagated it in water and then in perlite and in soil soil i'll show you later on but this one in water had really done so well moving on let me show you my raphidophora tetrasperma this stalk had fallen off from the main plant while i was trying to repot it and there were some tiny roots in there so i repotted this in a smaller pot and look how it is it's growing so well um new leaves had started growing as well and this one is what's left of my string of tears yes i've got a few tears left in there i've killed the main plant which was so bushy and now i don't know what i did but this one is another um alocasia polycorms that i had buried in there let's see if it um, works or not and this one is a stock from um, a begonia maculata that i am trying to salvage let's see if it lives or not if it doesn't then i'd say bye bye to it <laughs> and just some extra leaf from my watermelon peperomia and this one is a tray of some leaves of some peperomia hope i'm trying to propagate in soil and i'll i also have this propagation tray of potting mix in perlite and or of peperomias so i've got a marble peperomia there some peperomia caparata and some watermelon peperomia if it isn't too obvious i'm obsessed with peperomia so i had neglected this tray it um a lot of uh, leaves had burnt out from exposure to the sun it's such a shame because some of them had rooted out so well but sometimes i forgot to water it and uh the propagations in perlite did really well i hope i can still salvage this um leaves right here of some caparatas but the watermelon i don't think so and so this one right here had rooted well also is a mixture of budding mix and um perlite and it's a bit dry but some had rooted out so well so yeah i can save a few leaf of um of these um, peperomias here and there <laughs> let's see um so this is giving me hope um they're giving me a second chance to salvage them and this one's a polybutria which i don't think have fruited well there are tiny roots in there let's see if i um put this in another pot of fresh soil and see if it lives or not but certainly this uh, marble peperomia have rooted well so i'm gonna put this in a different um, pot properly and take care of it <laughs> and another polybutria that didn't do so well so this is by far what i have managed to salvage let's see if they will live or not and right here is another propagation it's another hoya my hindu rope and i've got some pothos there ignore the circle plant there on the corner because it's fake and i have another propagation of a hoya hindu rope here um it's 
not showing any progress for now it's been there for maybe three weeks so that's it these are my propagations and this is my propagation corner please comment down below if you have any other questions or suggestions and how to propagate these plants properly if you have been successful or a failure and now that i have moved most of them in soil it's another stage of this propagation thingamajig so wish me luck i hope you enjoy this video and thank you so much for watching stay safe stay strong as a bonus a friend had given me a red luna and a silver peperomia let's see if this lives or not